Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Anton Smirnov and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from the Chess Olympiad 2022. Smirnov had white pieces and he started with e4. Carlsen played knight to c6, the nims which defense, maybe. Knight to f3, d6, d4. Knight to f6, knight to c3, g6, the pit defense h3 preventing bishop to g4 or knight to g4 bishop to g7 bishop to e3 castling queen to d2 intending to castle queen's side a6 preparing the pawn storm bishop to d3 e5 d takes on e5 the other way to go was d5 and then black usually plays knight to e7 back to our game d takes on e5 Knight takes on e5, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and Smirno castled queen's side. Opposite side castling games are never boring. b5, the pawn storm on the queen's side. g4, the pawn storm on the king's side. c6, if b4, then knight to a4. We have c6, f3 intending h4. Bishop to e6, h4, queen to a5, a3, rook from f to b8. Bishop to c5, h5, bishop to d6. If g takes on h5, then knight takes on h5. Back to our game. After h5, we have bishop to d6, rook to b7, king to b1, rook to d8, bishop to b4, queen to c7, Knight to e2, rook to d7, bishop to c5. Let's take it back. If g5, then knight to e8. White would have more space on the king's side. But how can white attack now on the king's side with the position so closed? Back to our game. h takes on g4, and now knight to g3. g takes on f3 h5 quite a bold play against the world champion queen to d8 h takes on g6 f takes on g6 queen to g5 king to f7 carlsen's king is on the run white move and no spectators could predict the next move and that is knight to f5 knight takes on e4 let's take it back if g takes on f5, rook from d to g1, then king to e8, check, rook to f7, rook to h7. Black would be better in this variation too, under the precise defense. Back to our game. We have knight takes on e4, knight to h6, check, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, bishop to f5, king to a2, queen to g8, Bishop takes bishop, bishop takes bishop, rook from d to e1, king to f6, check! Not from the king, but from the queen. b3, rook to h7, queen to e3, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, queen to d5, centralizing the queen, king to b2, rook to d7, rook to h8, bishop to f5, rook to f8, check, Rook to f7 blocking, rook to e8, queen to e4, black is better materially and naturally wants to trade queens and simplify into a winning endgame. Queen to d2, if queen takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, after bishop to f2, rook to h7 and black is easily winning back to our game. Queen to d2, king to g7, bishop to f2, Black played the move and white resigned, and the move is queen to e2. Smirnov resigned. If queen takes queen, then pawn takes queen. After rook takes on e5, bishop to g4. And black should be easily winning. And I think we can stop here. That was quite an entertaining game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.